Hello again and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action number 57, Village with Red Roofs. I'm Deborah Worsu of DebraWorsu.com. This week's video features a return of the thread painted landscape. In this instance, a mountain village scene. This is a theme I've neglected for a while, so for me it makes a refreshing change. It's a very small piece, about the size of a small postcard, but it contains a lot of texture and many, many different shades of thread. In fact, I believe I ended up using close to 20 different shades in this one tiny 6x4 inch landscape. It began as a free cut collage to which I added layer upon layer of stitch. Working from the background, first the sky and hill, followed by the houses, roofs and finally the tree, allowed a logical progression of colour to create depth. My aim was to create a painterly look, as though the paint was perhaps applied with a palette knife, creating ridges, lumps and texture. And although the stitching on this is not actually lumpy, the multi-directional use of stitch and layers of colour has allowed me to create shadows and contrast with a very tactile surface. The interesting thing about thread painting a picture in this way is that, just as with painting with paint, if you are not happy with a section, you can generally go over it again to fix any problems. Thread painting in this way can be both frustrating and very rewarding. When starting out, the collage appears very flat and lifeless, but it's so exciting to see how the picture changes as you progress. In the past, I've made a couple of quite large quilts using this technique, which is great fun, but extremely time consuming. Stitching the tree in quite dark shades then led to a problem in that the rest of the picture appeared too bright when set against the dark tree and dark hillside. By adding some dark heavy outlines around the main elements of the picture created a much greater sense of balance while still allowing the yellow ochre and greys of the buildings with their terracotta roofs to really stand out. In fact, I think the outlines really bring the picture to life. When complete, the buildings, to me, almost look as though they are rendered in the same manner found in old Italian hill towns. Thanks for watching, and as always, I really look forward to your company next time. Please visit my website at debraworsu.com for more tips, tutorials, patterns, and videos.